hi guys welcome to my channel we'll be making this skirt so if it's something you like keep watching my name is chioma this is my first video so if you are seeing it please hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i post a new video these are the materials i'm going to be using or rather needing for the skirt this is a crepe fabric is a little bit stretchy and I think this is about a yard. I don't know. It's like leftover fabric from something I've worked on before. So I'm trying to cut the front and the back of this skirt together. So this is me trying to fold this skirt into four places. So you fold it the first time. Then you use one end to meet the other end. Making sure there's space for zip allowance. This extra space you have by side the zip allowance. You try to measure to be sure that it has your hip measurement and some allowances so the next thing you want to do is to get a starting point which is also your waist line so you rule a starting point for this skirt this skirt is going to have a band of one and a half inch so whatever measurement you are taking along the vertical lines you remove one and a half this is me taking my hip measurement so take your hip measurement which is eight and a half and the full length of this skirt because this skirt is going to have ruffles at the end i tried to use 15 and a half it ended up being a little bit short so if you want something longer you might want to use 17 or 18 but this is me trying to just rule the ends of the lines together now for the horizontal measurements you take your waist measurement you divide it into four whatever you have you impute it on the waistline um i used an allowance of one inch i don't want this skirt to have a dart line so there was no dart allowance the next thing you want to do is to take your hip measurement divide by four whatever you have you impute it then one inch allowance whatever you have as your hip measurement you're going to take away one inch from it and that's what you are going to use as the measurement of the lower part of this skirt. After putting all the measurements, the next thing you are going to do is to make sure the three points meet each other. So this is me trying to rule the lines to make sure they all meet each other. Um, In your measurement, make sure there's no sharp edge. This looks like it had a sharp edge. So make sure there's no sharp edge. Use like a rule, a curved rule to rule it off a little bit. If you look clearly, you see that I tried to curve it when I was cutting it. So please take note of that. So for the back allowance, as you can see, I used one and a half. And then this is just me trimming it off. I tried to put a notch where the zip allowance starts. So it will be easy for me to sew it together without any mistake. So after cutting, this is what it looks like. This is the front, that's the back piece. What's left is to go to the machine and join by one inch. Remember, one inch is what I use as the allowance. So you join by one inch. So this is what the skirt looks like. After joining by one inch on both sides and closing the zip allowance, this is what it's going to give you. And this is what it looks like. So guys, I've gone ahead to cut out two pieces of fabric for the lower part of this skirt this is what we're going to be using to make the ruffles so there's one for the front and another for the back this fabric is about 60 inches wide and 12 inches long because when i fold it i want it to be six inches so what you want to do is to stitch all part of the skirt you turn it over to the wrong side and you stitch everything leaving about two inches to turn it to the right side so it's like you so you close up you stitch maybe stop and give two to three inches then you keep sewing and you stitch up everything cover everything up here use it to or three inches that I have left to turn it over to the right side so I'm going to do just that side. and I'll bring it back okay so I've gone ahead to turn this to the right side you give it a nice press and then you set it aside go ahead and open this after doing that I'm going to bring the upper part of this skirt and, and then I'm going inch. to really line maybe open go up by one, one inch the reason for doing this is just to place the ruffle so the ruffle one will follow inch. like a uniform line I like mine to be very straight if you know you can do this freehand you can go ahead and do it but for me I'm just going to rule like a one inch line across the lower part of this skirt so this is me 
this is me trying to rule one inch now for the ruffle i don't want my ruffle to be in the middle but however i want your ruffle to be you're just going to put your machine on number five and then you're going to run a stitch through it this my fabric is six inches in length so i'm going to make my ruffle i don't want my ruffle even i want the upper part to be shorter than the lower part so i'm going to run my gather stitch at one and a half inch so the upper part will be shorter than the lower part so that's what i'm going to go ahead and do so guys this is what the fabric looks like after putting the gathers as you can see i'm trying to still drag a little bit as you can see the upper part of this gather is shorter than the lower part so what you want to do is to bring the upper part of this skirt and you're going to place the line of your ruffle on the one inch line that i've already made like i'm doing here so this is me placing it exactly on the one inch line this is just to make my ruffle straight you can go ahead and pin it down but there's no need for that for me since i already ruled the line i'm going to go to my machine stitch it and bring it back So guys, after adding so guys, the ruffles, after adding this is what it looks like. So this is what coming out really nicely. So this is what it looks like at the back. What's left what is left is, the band, is actually your band and, band, and, band, and, and, and your zip, and, 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 and we are done with this skirt. This is so nice. So already coming out very nicely. What it looks like. Me trying to iron interfacing on my band. I actually want the band to be very thick, so I'm doubling my interfacing um so next thing i've gone ahead and i've put in my zipper this is what it looks like give it a good press and guys that's basically all for the making of this skirt this is how it actually came out i like the way that it looks it had shorts but i think it's okay so please if you've enjoyed this video please give me give it a thumbs up share subscribe like and turn on notifications so you'll be notified whenever I make a new post. Thank you.